you will get so much attention from this speaker. It's unbelievable. And you consider how cheap it is. Like you'll probably get more attention from this speaker than like a PS5, than like a TV. You just will. It's just that eye catching. It just is amazing. And hey, hey, what up with the guys? Today I want to do a little review on the W King T11. Now, this is the newest Bluetooth speaker that I got. I wanted kind of an upgrade to my current speaker system. I was kind of flirting with a lot of ideas. W King speakers will pair with each other if you buy two of the exact same model. You'll basically get surround sound or dual speakers. So I already had a W King speaker. I thought it was pretty solid. I was kind of flirting with the idea. Do I get two for the surround sound? I already liked the speaker. Do I get legitimate surround sound, which I might have preferred in the end? I'm not sure. Or do I get just a bigger speaker in general and just, you know, maybe try to get two of those speakers in the future. So to be honest, guys, I was really sold on W King. Um, I tried two different brands of Bluetooth speakers that weren't super, super popular, like JBL or things like that. And I was just blown away. It was like the sound core flare. Really like that for an entry level speaker. It is, in my opinion, just as good as JBL, half the price. And then I tried the W King, I think it was called D8. And I think it's about $70, $80 on Amazon. And it has like 50 watts or so. So this version is the 100 watts and they have an 80 watt and a 100 watt and the 100, and they're very similar. But this one, the 100 watt is just a little bit, it's just basically the same thing, but just a little bit bigger and like barely more money. So um, decided to pull the trigger on it. And guys, I really, 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 really like this speaker. Has a few little downsides to it, but overall, absolutely love it. It's such an attention grabber. Um, the sound is just phenomenal. Like one of the problems that it will have or that it does have is that it doesn't have an equalizer. So, you know, you can't really fine tune the highs and the specific parts of the sound. You know, you can't control specifically the bass or specifically the mids or specifically the treble or the highs. You know, it just is what it is, but I don't really find myself craving it to be different. So it is balanced pretty well. And they have this thing called an echo and that's pretty much the only customization that you get is this echo and it basically makes the as you could imagine the bass have more echo or have less echo so you know when you're watching you know a movie and it's just explosion 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 or an action movie you would kind of lower it so it's not just it's a little bit more balanced or you want to hear more of the dialogue or you know maybe you know you're on youtube and you have an old song and it's like a bad quality and the bass isn't there you could up the echo and it's going to sound better again i don't crave any any different changes but I just for this level of speaker for how much money you're spending it would be nice to change the equalizer a little bit but overall the sound is phenomenal it's just amazing like it's I think they're like 5.5 inch subwoofers so if you know anything about um, subwoofers in cars like pretty much the lowest one that's considered like I don't know getting a system in my opinion would be like an eight you know people some people would laugh at that like when I would first get into cars a lot of my friends had tens and twelves um which are you know amazing but the 5.5s are actually really good you definitely get that bassy type feel it's a very full feel and then another thing i absolutely loved on this speaker that i had no idea i was going to love and i could have and if you had asked me before i would have said i could take it or leave it especially if you offered me a cheaper one without it i might have taken it and that is the lights i absolutely love the lights on this thing it just really sets it above and beyond now if you're using it portably i recommend not using the lights because you're going to get more battery life out of it but it's just so eye-catching you know they have multiple different colors multiple different patterns there's certain ones that will flash based on the intensity of the song so when it gets really loud or it gets really bassy it will start to flash for that and i just love it it just makes it you know when you're listening to it in the dark it just when it's flashing when it gets intense or you know, I listen to thunder and lightning. So when it thunders, it literally like flashes in the room. And like it, when you have all the lights off, it really is really, really, really eye catching. So absolutely love that aspect of it. To me, it's reasonably portable. Like obviously it's going to be bulky, much more bulky than my other speakers, but it's actually reasonably portable. It has a built in handle. So it's just, I mean, I think like a hundred pound girl would have no problem carrying it for a little bit. Like Maybe not in like a long hike, but like just carrying it or moving it. It's a very good mix of, you know, having loud technology while being portable as it is too. And um, 
So another thing I really like about this and based on how I use the speaker, it actually comes in pretty handy and that is the Bluetooth 5.3. So a lot of the other brands use the Bluetooth 5.1 and usually I get about 200 milliseconds delay from the computer to the speaker. So that's not the biggest thing, but when you're watching a YouTube video, when you're watching a movie, you know, there's gonna be a little bit of delay from what you see to what you hear, you know? So I have this program called VLC, which I absolutely recommend to anybody who wants a program on your computer to watch any video. VLC is a program that I've used for literally 15 years. I love it. But in that app, you can um, speed up or slow down the audio so I can kind of slow that down. But if I was on Netflix or something, if I was on YouTube, it really would be annoying. And when I edit videos, I normally like to have it uh, hardwired or connected to the aux because the 200 milliseconds delay, like when I'm talking, like sometimes they'll be like, um, uh, and it's like, you don't want to hear any of that. You want to cut it right before for, like so there's no noise you know what i mean so like by the time i hit stop there's so much delay that like what i'm hearing isn't it's not it's like gonna stop a little bit later hard to describe but it just messes up editing because i need to control every single frame and with the delay it was really annoying so the 5.3 isn't perfect but i would say it's about 50 milliseconds now it's just my guess versus the 200 and for me, somebody who knows it's there, I can kind of tell a slight bit of delay in movies and things like that, but it's very, very slight, much, much better than the 5.3 in my opinion. And that was something that actually really bothered me and I wouldn't use the actual Bluetooth aspects very much in it with it because I didn't like the delay with whether it be editing or whether it be movies, but they really fixed that with the 5.3. And I even just checked my friend's JBL, who which he paid, I think $300 for, and essentially the JBL that he has for $300 is essentially like a W King, a cheaper W King. That's pretty much what it is. But his speaker only has 5.1, mine has 5.3. And I only paid like, I think 160 for it on a deal, but it's always on a deal. So it does come with two USB ports, which is kind of nice for charging. It's almost like a portable charger as well, but everything worked pretty well, except for the iPhone fast charging. It did not charge very fast. Uh, maybe it was, I was doing something wrong. I don't know. I had the speaker plugged in. Um, the speaker was also playing music. So maybe it charges better when it's not playing music. I have no idea, but it did seem like the fast charging on the, um, the speaker was, it just wasn't really there, but everything else worked good. Like I have like a light for YouTube, like a circle light and I plugged that in and that was full brightness. Everything was good about that. So, so another thing about the USB that kind of makes me not want to use it as much is there's kind of an order that you have to go in while using it. So like there's only one USB will work when you don't have any USBs plugged in. Once that is plugged in, the other one will then work. So that's kind of annoying because like when you're plugging it in, I have to remember which one works. I always forgot and basically you plug it in. Is it gonna give me power? You look and then you plug the other one in. And once that's plugged in, the it'll it'll work. So that's kind of weird. I wish there was like a button or like maybe like maybe it says it on the back. I don't know, but like a like a USB one, like main one. And then there's, there's the backup. The backup obviously being the one that'll work once you're in, you know, USB one. So I do wish that W King had a little bit bigger of a like a top tier speaker than this because like my buddy bought a speaker for his wedding and. I haven't heard, tried them side by side. It's been a little while since I've heard his speaker, but I remember it being just like, I don't know, maybe two, three, four times the power of this. Now, granted, it was much bigger. You know, I think he paid 400 for it, but it was just, it, it is, it's a step above. And so for me liking W King so much, I wish they had a slight step above this, but I am not complaining. This speaker is like, you will get so much attention from this speaker. It's unbelievable. And you consider how cheap it is. Like you'll probably get more attention from this speaker than like a ps5 than like a tv you just will it's just that eye catching it just is amazing and i can't imagine not having it and i almost want to get another one but then i also want to get something with more watts so we'll see but anyways guys let me know what your bluetooth portable speaker setups are do you have surround sound like i honestly really want surround sound that's kind of i, I regret it a little bit but then i also would lose the 
portability and um, I don't really know exactly what I'm getting unlike W King. So let me know what speakers you're into. I'd be very interested to see. I love W King. And for now, I don't see myself changing or going anywhere else. So anyways, guys, I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video.